Bikini Waxing Techniques There are many bikini waxing techniques an aesthetician may use for your service. Most will ask you to assist and some will ask you to move around. An aesthetician or spa may have their own style of doing things. So don't be shocked if the service varies a bit as long as it's sanitary, you're comfortable, they're professional and the hair is removed without any adverse side effects. Here are a few things that may happen during your service. 1. You may be enlisted for help. Don't be alarmed if you're asked to place your hand in the bikini zone to hold the skin as the aesthetician holds the positaria to ensure it's being held firm, or taut. It's a very common practice and simply allows the wax to be pulled off correctly. Reason If the skin is not taut, there's a greater chance of pain, bruising, breaking off hair, irritation, and even removing skin. 2. You may be asked to move into different positions. Depending on what type of bikini wax you're having, bend legs up or bend legs out may be a request. For a Brazilian or any bikini wax where they're removing a lot of hair, you may even be asked to get on your hands and knees or lay on an exercise ball. Reason So you're comfortable as possible and your aesthetician can get into those hard-to-reach areas without having you bend into a pretzel. 3. Small areas are removed. Your aesthetician may be working in somewhat small strips. And you're probably screaming in your head do it faster or at least take bigger sections. Unlike the legs and arms, the bikini area is very delicate and the hair can grow many different ways. It seems like we're torturing you but we're not. If you stick with it the pain will become less and less. Reason the hair needs to be removed against the hair growth to be uplifted from the root. Working in smaller sections, especially when removing a lot or most of the bikini hair, allows the aesthetician to change directions as needed and obtain the best possible results. 4. Multiple waxes might be used. You might see a lineup of waxes all heated up and used during the same service. Some use soft wax for certain areas and hard in others. Reason Most of time each wax is chosen for a particular reason. Sometimes the aesthetician has a preference, but there are specific areas in the bikini zone that require the use of a certain wax. 5. Hard wax might be used a lot. Hard wax, also called stripless wax, is used at a lower temperature than soft or strip wax. It hardens on the skin, shrink wraps the hair and is pulled off with the fingers, using the help of a special tab or another hard wax strip that has been removed from your body. Reasons Hard wax is especially made for removing coarse hair in small sections. Missing a few hairs on the first pull is common because of the frequent changes in the direction of hair growth. Unless the skin is extremely sensitive. Hard wax can technically be used over the same area twice without causing the damage that a hotter soft wax might. Since the hard wax does not require a muslin or pellon strip to remove it, it's easier to see where the wax was placed and how it will come off. 6. It's not the same wax as last time. You might also remember a red colored wax used for the majority of the service on your last visit and now it's green. And to come to think of it this wax smells different too. Reason The beauty industry is always coming out with new products, including wax. Often they're based off a certain ingredient, like aloe or cherry and have somewhat different properties. Therefore, it may be a different color and scent. Keep in mind that there are many techniques that aesthetician use to remove unwanted hair. Don't be shocked if each aesthetician does things a little bit different. If you don't like something, please tell them. If you have great communication, the hair removal will go smoothly. No pun intended.